so I'm gonna start I've just got out of the shower hair's still wet we um my mother and I dyed it at the weekend I had terrible roots um so it's a little bit yellow at the moment I'm starting with the beauty work face serum retinal recovery and wrinkles and fine lines I have loved uh, hang on loved using it really um hydro cream just sinks in no residue oh hair everywhere no residue just take that down the neck it's the most essential part is the neck we always forget to hydrate it and look after it and it's already soaked in no residue at all i love it very hydrating highly recommend and i always go in with my vitamin e skincare moisture boost facial serum this is from soup drug just about pump and a half between the fingers and just i focus that mainly on my t-zone helpful in my pores under the eyes very glowy that is why i do love them two together they i mean then i'm going in with pore blur Re by revolution blur and prime primer um i've had this for a while i love it i have quite large pores around this area fill them in and again i like to press it in because I want it very focused. It's not something I really want all over. I haven't got pores, large pores all over my face. Now, I have vitiligo. I'm not really sure how apparent it is with the ring light because the ring light really lights up the whole face. <laughs> um, I do have vitiligo. I have a patch here, my whole eyelids, around my brows, and then up here and up. On this side, vitiligo has crept down under my eye. It's growing, it changes shape. Went from when I'm in the sun, when I'm out of the sun, when I've been on holiday and I have a tan, it's much more apparent a lot of the time in winter. And if you've just not been on holiday, like none of us have, and we're pale, um, it's not that apparent to other people, apparently. To me, it's always apparent, it's on my face, I notice it, yeah. So I do have vitiligo, got it on my arms, got it on my chest, doesn't bother me, I've had it for since I was like 12, I'm 21, so it doesn't bother me. I'm now using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Concealer in C3, oh, not C3, that's Revolution, isn't it? In 53, so I'm going in with this. Um, I'm just going to go all over. And I just go around my lips. A little bit around the neck. That's what, it looks brand new. <laughs> this is old and well loved. It says, you are, you are the princess. Marble sponge, so much softer. I have a beauty blender. This is like, oh, it's just, it's lovely. 100% recommend it. So I'm just gonna go in with that and blend this out. I go in with Conceal and Hydrate by Revolution in the shade C6 and just lighten under my eyes. Do a bit more coverage there. 
cheeks. I'm now going to go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I've got Moonstone and I've got Opal, but at the moment Moonstone is the better for me. My nice paleness. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I do love this very much i'll be sad when it runs out now i've got my base on very glowy medium coverage i would say i'm now going to powder and i'm going to use the rimmel stay matte classic this is just in transparent it's my always go to it's everyone's i believe <laughs> going in with a bh cosmetics number four brush little There we go, concentrate that under the eye, avoid creasing. Brush it all up. I do my brows after I've done concealer stuff but I don't I don't like any harsh lines so I just brush them out get any product powder etc out of them and then we're gonna remember brows are sisters not twins my eyebrows are very different shapes so I just brush the tail end down just to help fill in the arch and with my NYX eye and eyebrow pencil in taupe just it creates more of the shadow of a thicker brow than it creates the brow <laughs> and i think especially if you're using a pencil in like this which isn't the finest tip so you're not drawing hairs you're just generally filling in the space use something lighter collection color lash all day wear color mascara it's not meant to be this color it's a clear one and i just <laughs> scrape off the residue it's this color from doing this and i just brush my brows through again it helps to just take off any of the extra color it helps set the brows in place for the day it's the i heart makeup bronze and glow chocolate palettes they still do this one and i actually bought it for the highlighter which is stunning it is like stunning <laughs> um but then i started using the bronzer which is clear i've hit pan on it it's a lovely cool toned bronzer so i start at the top and then work our way down. going with this shade by Kiko it's number 46 high pigment wet and dry eyeshadow it's a better a mauve it's very much a mauve slightly purple cool brown mauve
gonna go in with this one. It's from by Juvia's Place. It's called Carlo. Carlotta. Carlotta, there we go. It's a beautiful pink. Let me swatch it. Pink, gold. Yeah, that's that. It's one of those peachy gold duochromes. It's stunning. Hundred percent, million percent of recommend that shade by Juvia's Place. I'm going in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Stunning. You can see that I'm hitting pan on it. Look at the, oh, it's like a glazed donut. Oh, it's beautiful. with the Mary Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile and lavender. Now, on my channel, before I move on to the mascara, I really want to do some series and I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm a huge Marvel fan. So I really want to do a Marvel series. We could do Disney Princess series. Anything. Anything. Any ideas that you have. Anything for me to make content. Something creative. I'd love it. And I just want you to enjoy what I make. Which is the most important part. So please let me know down below any looks that you'd like to see, any colours, let me know down below, please. Oh, thank you very much. Here's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Lovely thin bristle wand. I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cans. Can't Cans. I saw this out. Please like, comment, subscribe, everything. Thank you very much for watching. If you've watched this far, thank you very much for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.